Welcome to part two in our coil pot video series. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a variety of coils and attach them. I'm rolling out my coils and preparing them for the first one. So I'm wetting them, removing any of the cracks, and uh, I'm also getting them ready to be stuck together. So the first one I'm gonna create is kind of a twist. So once they're, they're good and wet so they stick together, I'm gonna start to kind of twist them together a little bit. So I'm carefully twisting these two coils together and I'm using water to help kind of stick them together as I go. This next coil that I'm rolling out is going to be kind of a popular one. It's uh, a spiral shape. So with a little bit of water, kind of twist it together a little bit, coil it, and then smooth and blend the back side of it so that it's well stuck and well connected. And on to my next one. So I'm going to do a different variation of the spiral. So I'm thinning out my coil a little bit, and I'm going to wet it. And then I'm gonna twist both ends in towards each other. And then again, I'm gonna blend the back side of it so that it's well stuck and well connected. And I'm gonna roll up a little ball to fill in that little gap I have there. And again, I'll smear the back side of it so that it's well connected. And in keeping with the theme of spirals, I'm gonna spiral this one in more of a kind of infinity type shape by spiraling them in opposite directions. And again, don't forget to blend the backside so that it's well stuck and well connected. We'll do that for each and every one. This next coil I'm rolling out, we're gonna zigzag this one. So back and forth, kind of carefully construct it so that it's about the same size all the way through. And remember, as we finish it up, we always blend the back side and give it a little more support and make sure that it's stuck together. So this next one is gonna be the rainbow design. So I'm fitting my coils, interlocking, getting smaller as it gets to the middle. All right, I'll give it a little trim. And then I'll flip it over and blend the rear. This next coil I'm going to split into individual pieces and then make what we call a log cabin. So two pieces going horizontally on the top and bottom. And then in the middle, we're going to fill these in with some vertical stripes. We can even cut our coils and arrange them in different ways so that they're facing different directions. So this one might be sort of a kind of a blocky or dashed look. And we can even create that one with different shapes if we want to. 
Now I'm rolling up some balls of clay and we can arrange these in different ways, in different patterns. Uh, for this one, you can kind of see I'm gonna start to arrange these in a bit of a flower shape. You can make all different kinds of shapes with them and arrange the little balls in different ways to create different patterns if you like. And again, always remember that we're gonna blend the rear side of it. So we're gonna flip it back over in a moment here. I'm kind of sticking it together a little bit with some water. And now I'm blending the back side of it so that it's stuck together and it's well constructed. I'm going to show you some ways that we can use some of our coils and kind of construct them and build them together. I'm going to make what we call a panel. So I'm going to roll out a few more coils. I'm going to form a few more of the spiral shapes. And I'll have a couple horizontal ones to help tie them together. So now I'm kind of test fitting my coils to see how they're going to fit together. I'm going to roll up some little balls to fit into the gaps. All right, I'm going to slip everything so it sticks together. Now I'm going to flip it over and carefully rearrange it. And then I'll start to blend everything together so that it's well constructed and everything is stuck in place. Now I'll be able to attach this as a single unit rather than attaching individual little coils or little spirals. I'll have them all in one piece so that they fit together uh, a lot easier. So now to attach these. So first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test fit some of my parts to see where I want them. And because I'm attaching something new today, I'm gonna to make sure that I score this really well to give it a little texture and a little grip. I'm gonna make sure that I also do this to my coils. So not only the base, but the coils also. Now I'm gonna wet this to create a little bit of slip so I have my glue to stick everything together. And I'll put my coil panel in place and remember that we always must blend the clay to make sure that it's well stuck together so that's well constructed it's a good idea to do this as you go and not wait till the end so that way you can reach as you're working and remember to clean it up as you go as well it makes it a lot easier towards the end so you don't have to reach into your pot to fix things all right so i'll smooth out the back or the front a little bit more and now I'm ready to add another coil here. So the base has already been scored and slipped. So now I just have to score the coil that I'm adding. And I'll slip that, make sure it's nice and moist and it'll attach well. And again, I'm going to blend the inside of this once I get it positioned. Now I'll just kind of clean up the front as well to make sure everything's well attached and everything kind of blends smoothly into each other. All right, so that's how you can create a variety of different coils and this is the method for attaching them. Thank you for watching. 